Bienvenidos amigos to another Elementor tutorial. Today we're gonna have a look at how you can apply image masking on your Elementor website. We have here a test site, it's a template from Crocoblog by the way, and we would like to apply image masking to these images here. So the end result will look something like this. We will have here some blob shapes for the first two images, then we will also apply some icon shapes here and also a text effect with a nice hover effect here. Let's have a look how we can achieve this. I will show you different ways how you can achieve this effect. First of all, we will have a look at the premium Elementor add-on and then I will also show you some free ways how you can implement this nice looking effect on your website. So let's get started. Let's go to this test site here where we haven't applied this effect so far and let's click on edit with Elementor. Like I said, for the first section, for the first image, we will use a premium Elementor add-on. I'm talking about the happy add-ons for Elementor. In my opinion, it's one of the best Elementor add-ons out there and you should check it out. It's really worth it. So you have a very nice looking effects here. In this case, um, of course, we are talking about the image masking, but uh, there are several other features, several other unique features, and you should definitely check it out. So I leave a link in the description below. Okay, let's go back to our test site. I have the Happy Add-ons Pro version already installed on this test site, and that's why I can implement this image masking effect very easily. I just click on the image and I have here this feature image masking, which is this feature from Happy Add-ons, right below the, the image and I click here on edit and I can choose my shape that I like. I really like this one, but you have a lot of shapes here you can choose from. I will leave this one, I really like this one. And so we are done for the first section. Let's go to the second section. I will show you now a free way how you can achieve this um, image masking effect. Unfortunately, it's not that easy like we just saw with the happy add-ons uh, feature, but it's not that complicated either. What uh, we have to do first is we have to select a shape that we want to apply on this image. Where can I find some shapes? I can show you some cool web tools. So first of all, there's a BlobMaker app, so BlobMaker.app and here you can select your color that you like. It doesn't really matter because this color will not be applied on our image masking effect, so it doesn't really matter which color you choose here. Of course, you shouldn't choose white because then you will not see the shape, but everything else is fine. So and then you choose the complexity, the contrast of the shape and then just click several times on this button here until you find a shape that you want to use. Let's say I like this one and then I click here on the download button and this will download the SVG file to my computer and this SVG file I have to upload to my media library. I already did this so I will not uh, show you the upload process. Just upload it to your media library and then you will have the shape here and uh, the important part here is the URL. We have to copy this URL. Uh, we will do this in a moment. But first of all, let's go back to this test site. Let's click on the image. And now we will use some custom CSS. Let's go to the advanced tab, to the custom CSS, and let's put here inside some code. I will not type this code. To save some time, I will just copy and paste some CSS code here. Okay, so we have the CSS code. Right now we are missing the URL. I will just quickly copy and paste this URL for, from this shape here so that we can see our picture again. And we already have the end result. Let me just quickly explain what this CSS code is doing. So uh, we, first of all, we added the selector. So there's a explanation below what the selector element really is, but it's not 
that clear, I think. So you select her to target wrapper element. Yeah, but what is the wrapper element? So let me just give you a small tip how you can find out what the wrapper element is. You can, for example, you go here to the advanced tab and uh, enter some class here, maybe um, image masking. And now we will close this menu here so that we can open the browser developer tools click the right button and select inspect element it's probably called in english so we will open the browser developer tools and then just look for the class that we just added image masking and now you know what the selector is what is exactly the wrapper element so it's not the image itself it's the wrapper element around the image actually there are several divs between this is the wrapper element this is the selector and here we want to apply the image masking on just a small tip and let's continue so let's go back to custom css so we have the selector and now we just have to enter some css rules first of all we have the mask property so you can either use the mask or the mask image property that's the same but I will use the short version here and then just uh, enter your URL of your shape. So what else do we have? We have mask size. You can um, change the size here. If you, for example, if, if I want to make the shape smaller, I just use 60% and then I have a sm smaller shape, 88%, oops, 88%. It's um, on the limit because if I make it larger, let's say I want to make it 95, then you will see here, uh, the shape will be, get bigger than the wrapper element and this will not look that nice that's why we should make it smaller but 88 percent it's okay you have the mask position so you can choose the position of your shape no repeat of course that's uh, similar to the background property of the image no repeat and then the same we have to repeat the properties again because right now here i have the browser prefix webkit I'm on the browser Google Chrome and the WebKit prefix is for the Google Chrome and Safari. So I have to use here the browser prefix. If I remove this one, then you will see no effect because I'm here on Chrome. So let's paste it back. Good. And that's all. That's all we have to do. We have to use a little bit of CSS code and we can apply this nice looking effect nice image masking on our images okay so we go on and let's make the same effect here but with a small difference we will not use a shape from the block maker we will use now a simple icon there are also some web tools that i can recommend first of all we have nucleo and then we have the noun project the library of the noun project is bigger uh, you can see here two million curated icons so it's a very big library of icons but there's a one small drawback uh, you have to um, always you have to mention the source which you don't have to i think at least uh, you don't have to mention the source here on nuclear so we will use an icon from nuclear so my suggestion is you use a very large size the largest size i can use here is 64 pixel so i select the 64 pixel and then you can choose between glyph and outline or colored the best uh, result you can achieve with the um, glyph selection so you can just select here an icon and then download it just click on an icon I, I choose here the heart and then just export it in the svg file you can also use png with a transparent background but svg is a little bit better if you uh, want to make it bigger then you will not have uh, any quality losses so that's why i'm using svg uh, but you can use png as well i will not, not uh, do this again i already did it i already uploaded it also to my media library you have it here and then you have to make the same procedure as we did for the shape uh, we also need the url so we will do the same again here for this image first of all let's copy this code here from this image let's just copy it so command c or control c and then let's just paste it here on this image 
custom CSS, let's paste it here, command V, and then we just have to replace the URL. We will use the URL of the icon here. Let's use this one. So we have to paste it here and with the prefix and also without the prefix, also we have to paste it here for all other browsers besides um, Chrome and Safari. And so we have here this um, effect of the icon. It's a little bit too big now, so we have to make it smaller, 75%, maybe a little bit less, 70%, and here also 70%, and then we have this nice looking icon mask. So since this is a, a styling, we can just copy the styling and paste it to the other elements and we are already done with the third section. Let's go to the fourth section here. Just as a small reminder, we want to implement here this nice looking text mask with the nice hover effect. And how we can do this? As you can see, I have here the background for the column. I don't need this anymore, but uh, we will remove this in a minute. Let's first add a heading here. Heading to this column. Uh, let's call it coffee, align it to the center, let's make it a little bit bigger. We can make it really big because uh, then we will see more of the image in the background. Okay, we can get rid of this um, divider here, I don't need it anymore. And then we also can remove the image now. Let's remove this image. Okay, and now the same again, we have to paste in some uh, CSS code. Let's go to the advanced tab, custom CSS, and then let's paste in uh, here some CSS code. I will explain in a minute. So let's first paste it. Okay, there's no difference uh, because right now what we have to do, we have to make the color transparent. So let's go back. We don't have to edit uh, here in the CSS because this is a standard, a default. Uh, elemental settings. So let's go back to the style. Uh, uh, I'm still in the edit column. I have to edit the heading. So let's go back to edit heading, style, color. Let's choose the color and let's make it transparent. And then we're already done. We have this hover effect. Let's go back to the CSS code. So I don't want to explain all the CSS property in detail because this is not a CSS tutorial. You will find helpful links in the description below about uh, background clipping, CSS transition and so on. I just want to give you an explanation what we are selecting here. Uh, this time it's not enough to just use the selector. You also have to use the corresponding CSS class here. It is the child element which we want to select select. So in this case, elemental heading title. Let me just show you quickly what I mean. Let's open again the browser developer tools and then I can show you what I mean. So we have the selector. The selector is the elemental widget heading. The elemental widget heading. This is the selector. But we want to select the child element of this wrapper element. So that's why we have to use, let's open it again. We have to use this child element here to select this heading element. So that's why we are using here the child element with the selector. This is also the reason why you cannot apply the background here. You cannot add here the background image because then you will apply the image to the whole wrapper element and not to the heading itself. So that's why we are using this custom CSS to apply the background image only for the heading element and not for the wrapper element. I hope this makes sense. So, and that's all. That's all what I wanted to show you about image masking. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, you can apply now uh, some nice looking effects, image masking effects to your images.